Well, I, you know, I worked underground for about 30 years. And Ace Energy came to Coal River building a big prep plant right across from my house. Well, they they eventually bought, in, the, in 94, they eventually bought my mines out from Peabody, a union mines, okay? And so they were starting a new mines underneath us, but it was non-union. Uh, so I ended up, they, fight, they bought us out and I got laid off. And so I did a lot of contract work and then I went to a Massey Energy Mines as a contractor and got a job with them. I'd go home at night and sometimes they'd work you 12, 14 hour shifts. And when I'd go home at night, I'd come into my kitchen and you could see like a half inch uh, pile of coal dust laying on the kitchen table. It was horrible. My wife had asthma real bad, and what we were doing, we were breathing coal dust that had been run through a prep plant, laced with all these chemicals they used to clean the coal. They are getting coal waste uh, in, into the well water, and it's got all these chemicals and poisons. There's people up there that got tumors, heart disease, liver, kidney disease, little kids exposed to this type of water, and the water actually looks like coffee. It's, it's black, it comes out of the faucet. This is the tap water that came out of a woman's uh, well in Prenner in Boone County. And what happens is this water actually comes out running clear, and then after a couple hours it turns bright orange, and then all the black stuff precipitates out. When they clean the coal, you know, it takes 95 gallons to clean one ton of coal. And the chemicals and stuff, and the slate and the rock and the waste, it's all put up, you know, they pump, the, uh, pump this stuff into an impoundment pond. And as the impoundment pond rises, they'll inject this stuff into old abandoned mine workings. Okay, and then you got this practice mount top removal coming in, and them letting off 2,500 tons of explosives every day just in West Virginia. That, you know, this stuff is not going to stay there. What it does, it cracks the strata of the rock, letting this waste come from these abandoned mines and get into our aquifer, and gets into the streams, and then goes downstream and gets into people's well water. This woman is in like, particularly poor health. Right. Obviously, after drinking this for years, um, and in this area, printer, there, uh, there's a cancer cluster. There's no one's got a gallbladder left in that entire holler. Um, brain tumors, pituitary tumors, uh, one of the highest rates of renal failure in the country. So uh, it's real bad news. In 1970, we had 150,000 coal miners in West Virginia, and today we've got less than 15,000. And they're talking about jobs. It's not about jobs at all. It's, it's about, uh, you know, saving our community and uh, our culture and our way of life is what it's all about. Other people around the nation is getting a lot of their power, their, their coal from West Virginia. And they call it cheap power, you know, cheap energy. Well, it's not so cheap, man. These people are dying over this down here. You guys are paying the price. Yeah, we're paying the true cost of it. There's no such thing as clean coal. It's dirty when you dig it out of the ground, it's dirty when you clean it, and it's dirty when you burn it. We've been controlled by the industry for 150 years, and we've been quiet for 150 years, but that's coming to a stop.